Well, we welcome you back once again here to Portland, Oregon, and for the Cougars' uh, semi-home game here tonight, as there's a lot of Cougar fans in attendance, not many Pilot fans in attendance, and Suhina to bring it in, looking, bounces it to Bella in between a couple of Pilots, tries to find a little space and has just a little bit of a crack to put it up and in, so Bella's got her first two, and the outlet to Sarver, kicks it over to Tedder. She'll stop, pop for three, got it. Johanna Tedder with a three. Let's see if that'll take the lid off the basket for Washington State. It'll be Tahina to the free throw line as she gets ready. Now pass over to the left-hand side to Sarver. Sarver into the paint, all the way to the bucket, lays it up and in. And with that, it is Grace Sarver getting two for Washington State. Tahina over to Tedder. She finds Sarver left of the paint. Now a crossover move, brings it back out to Tahina. She'll drive in all the way to the rim as she penetrates and will get the bucket for her first two points. So the Cougars, over the last couple of minutes, have been able to get some offense going. Kaitu has got it at the high post. A little fake to the dribble and then passes to Anders, but Motuga had a perfectly an intercept. She brings it into four court. Tahina with the top of the key. Over it goes to Tedder. Tedder going to get around the defender, fakes the pass, takes it to the rim and lays it up and in. It goes to Wallach near sideline, back up top to Sarver. Nice pass down low to Gardner, who's got the bucket in low. So the freshman adds a couple. We're down to the final 30 seconds of the first half. Fowler with the hoop. Ula's going to let one fly from midcourt. It's on its way. Got it. Ula Motoga from midcourt. They will go ahead and look at the replay, but if you go by the red light around the basket, it was let loose and should be good. Motuga, if she hits the half court heave, would bring the Cougars within 11. We get the three, and Ula Motuga hits the midcourt shot to bring the Cougars to within 11 at halftime. So maybe some momentum for Washington State. Motuga is going to rip down the rebound. Underhands it to Tedder, fires it up court to Bella. Bella's got it down low, kicks it back out. Wallach eyes a three, got it! Tara Wallach with the three. She was scoreless in the first half. And for the first time in a long time, the Cougars back within single digits. Tedder giving it to Motuga, finds Charlize Ledger Walker in the paint, puts it up off the window and good for Charlize Ledger Walker. Comes in to Tedder. Tedder bounces it to Motuga. She finds Charlize, little 13-footer just inside the free throw line, open good. Down to Motuga. Now Charlize in the front court the other way. Gives it back, Motuga, three, top of the key, got it! Not quite from half court, but from the head of the key, Ula deposits three. Walker down with the rebound. Four and a quarter left to play in the third. Bella has it, hits a cutting, Astera Tahina! That's a reverse layup! The Cougars are within five after trailing at one time by 19. Meanwhile, 43-38 our score. And it's Washington State down by five. Portland with the ball out of the timeout. Kaitu goes into the lane, right there to stop her defensively. Then the shot off the bottom of the backboard, no good. Bella does a good job on defense, and the Cougars can make this a one-possession game if they can convert. Charlize Ledger-Walker from 14, that one good. Charlize Ledger-Walker to double digits. A chance for the Cougars to get within one or tie. A tenner three, got it! Johanna Tedder has tied this game at 43 apiece. A 12-0 run. Pass inside to Bella, puts the shot up. She gets the easy layup. Bella Muricatete with the hoop. Charlize comes in with the rebound. Long down court pass to Bella. Puts it up at the rim, and the Cougars have their first lead of the night. It's 47-45, Washington State. Tahina gets a screen from Bella. Out top, Motuga with it. Didn't look to fire, as she now instead looks to distribute. Gives it to Charlize Ledger-Walker. She backs up, hits the three! Charlize Ledger-Walker! Ice water in her veins has given the Cougars the lead once again. She works against Tedder with 11 left to shoot. Fowler going to drive into the lane, runs into Bella Muricatete, and it's a charge taken by Bella Muricatete. She'll take a deep breath, gives it over left-hand side. They find Tahina in the paint. She kicks it back out. Tedder fires up the three. Got it! 
The three ball starting to fall for Washington State. Now it goes to Cochran. You know, a lot of action between Sarver and Andrews in the paint. They get it to Andrews. She's trying to muscle Sarver, but Sarver's giving as much as she's getting. Meanwhile, the give and go is going to be intercepted by Charlize Ledger Walker. Dribbles it off of her foot, but Motuga there to pick up the loose change. And the Cougars ran across the timeline midway through the fourth in a one point lead. Again, if you're just joining us, the Cougars were down by 19 in the first half, and right now a one point advantage with 4.45 left to play. It's going to be Motuga driving in. Finds Bella underneath, puts it up and deposits two more. Good luck, Ula Matuga. Cougars up by one, gets it to Bella. Bella at the right elbow of the key, penetrates in, puts it up with the left hand, and that one will go for Bella Maricatete. Charlize Ledger Walker fires it inside to Bella. She wanted, hit a cutting to Sarah Tahita. That one's up and good. What a great look by Bella. And the Cougars by four. It's their biggest lead of the night. Looking to get it in, still looking, still looking. Out it will come all the way into backcourt where Bella's going to have it. She brings it into front court. finds Charlize Ledger Walker over to Tahina. She's going to put it up and in. Again, trailed by as many as 19 as we approach the midway point of the second quarter as they were down 27 to 8. Came back to get within 11 at halftime, had a huge 12 nothing run. Inbounds pass to Bellamer Catete. She's wide open. That basket is in. The Cougars lead it by eight. A timeout by Portland with an eight point lead and 12.3 seconds to go. I think we can say this. The Cougars are going to complete the biggest comeback in school history. They were down by 19 in this contest and are now up by eight with 12.3 seconds to go. A 27 point turnaround for the Cougars. It's now a six point game with 3.2 left. Inbounds pass to Sorber. They're trying to foul, but they're not gonna give it and the ball game is over. The greatest comeback in school history accomplished tonight by the Washington State University Cougars.